In this video, we'll begin looking at time-independent perturbation theory in quantum mechanics uh, by motivating the utility of a perturbation series expansion. So the main motivation or the, the need for this type of theory is that in practice, there's only a handful of problems for which the time-independent Schrodinger equation, which will denote like this uh, can be solved analytically. And some examples are the infinite square well, the harmonic oscillator, or the hydrogen atom, to name a few examples. And the hydrogen atom is uh, only considering the Coulomb potential between the proton and the electron. So here, uh, this denotes a uh, model Hamiltonian for which we can analytically calculate the exact solution of the Schrodinger equation. The cat of n is how we'll be denoting stationary states or eigenstates of this Hamiltonian. And here it's important to remember that uh, the energy eigenstates form a complete and orthonormal basis. So what that means is uh, each state is orthogonal to the others. And uh, it has a norm of one. So they're all assumed to be normalized. And this is for n is equal to zero, one, two, k, uh, all the way to however many eigenstates this Hamiltonian has. The other property that these station, stationary states satisfy is the completeness. Uh, relationship, which says that uh, the unit operator is the sum of the outer product of all of the energy eigenstates. And this is generally true for any Hermitian operator. So here, the Hamiltonian is a Hermitian operator because it corresponds to a physical observable. The physical observable is the energy of each eigenstate. So here E sub N will denote the eigenstate, the energy of the eigenstate cat zero. And for the moment, we're going to assume that uh, these energies are ordered. And uh, they could be equal to one another in the case of degenerate eigenstates where different states can have the same energy. So it turns out that in quantum mechanics, there's actually a fairly large class of problems that can be treated with some of these model Hamiltonians for which we can find an exact solution to the Schrodinger equation plus a small perturbative contribution. So for certain problems, we can take the Hamiltonian to be one of these model Hamiltonians plus a small perturbation that will denote by delta H hat. And to be able to uh, develop a general treatment, we're going to add a small parameter lambda. So this will be a Hamiltonian as a function of lambda. Uh, such that we are interested in solving the time independent Schrodinger equation 
for this new Hamiltonian. So here, lambda is a parameter that can range from zero to one. And this will allow us to uh, tune the perturbation. So by taking lambda to zero, we can turn off the perturbation or remove the perturbative contribution. And by tuning it to one, we can turn on the perturbation completely. And then the last important property that needs to be mentioned is uh, the small perturbative contribution. This is a Hermitian operator as it has to be because it corresponds to a physical observable, meaning that uh, it contributes something to the energy of the new eigenstates of this Hamiltonian. So in the next video, we'll begin to develop a treatment to deal with uh, this type of problem for the case where the uh, of a non-degenerate eigenstate. So an eigenstate that has an energy distinct from every other state.